You have the Samsung Galaxy A71 5G. Double, double check that we're uh, talking about the same phone. Yours isn't as broken as mine is. You've had it for a while, and you, now you're wondering, uh, what do I do to make my... It, start, it feels a little sluggish. What do I do? There are two things to do. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the settings where the actual software of your A71 5G helps you make your phone run a little bit more efficiently. The second thing we're going to do, we're going to jump deep into the software called the Developer Options. I'll show you how to turn it down, turn it on. I'll show you how to be safe, and then we'll compare the speed up. You'll visually, you'll see with your own eyes that this phone will run faster than this S10. This is an S10e. And then if you stick around, I'll show you how to undo it if you don't like the settings. So let's jump right in. So this first option should be familiar to some people, but not necessarily everyone. We're going to go inside settings and we're going to go to battery and device care. Touch battery and device care. Inside here, this is something that you should do uh, once a week. If you use your phone a ton, maybe even every other day. All you have to do is hit optimize now and it's going to help check a few things in your phones. Close background apps. Okay, the other thing to touch is storage. Okay, I need to allow the storage to look at your stuff. And now, depending on how much you use your phone, you might have some trash in here. It could be a few megabytes to many gigabytes. And to get rid of your trash, all you do is you touch gallery, and then you touch edit, and then you select all the items, old photos, old videos, things that you don't need anymore. And then I'm going to go to delete all. Permanent delete them. Yes, I want to permanently delete them. Okay, so we've emptied the trash. And now the last thing we want to do is we want to hit the memory button. So if, you've, if your phone's using a lot of memory, you got some apps open. This is something you might need to do like every day. 625 megabytes of memory will clean now. Look at all the things it has to clean. This is something you should do every couple of days, once a week, depending on how much you use your phone. It's easy. Okay? Now, if, you, if that's all you want, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Let's move on to the what is going to feel like you're hacking into your phone. It's called Developer Options. It's going to feel a little intimidating, but just follow along, and we'll go step by step. I'll show you how to make it work for you so that nothing messes up on your phone and your phone actually runs quick quicker. All right, so let's jump into settings, scroll all the way down and touch about phone, inside about phone, inside about phone. Oh, huh, somebody left their SIM chip in here. Let's, uh, let's see if we can fix that. All right, inside is, we want to touch about phone, inside about phone, we're going to touch software information, and inside software information, we're going to look for this build number. All we have to do is touch this area seven times. One, two, three, and you should start seeing this message. Four, five, six, seven. Developer mode has been turned on. Now, if you don't see that message, it means you haven't touched build number enough times, or it's already been turned on. All right, so let's back out, back out, and now underneath about phone is a new menu option called the developer option. So let's touch it. Okay, it should be on by default. And now I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to turn it back on so we can read the warning. Allow development settings. These settings are intended for development use only. They can cause your device and the application on it to break or misbehave. I'm going to click OK and I show you all that. We have to scroll way down. So don't accidentally touch anything. If you accidentally touch something, just undo it or back out or click cancel. All right, so let's move on and we're going to scroll down and we're looking for a heading called drawing. That one's called networking. The next one should be input, input, and then right after input is drawing. You can see drawing right here. Inside drawing, we're going to look for these three, Windows animation scale, transition animation scale, animator duration scale. The only thing we have to keep in mind is that the default is 1x. Okay, so if we want to come back and change it back, we don't like how our phone runs, it's 1x. To change it, all we do is touch it. Now, some people say put it to 0.5. I, oh, you can try that. Definitely don't put it to these because the bigger the number, the slower your phone will run. I like to do animation off on all three. Tr transition animation scale, touch it. 
animation off. Last one, animator duration scale, touch it, turn it off, and we're done. So let's go back to home. Let's compare it side by side now with our Galaxy S10. Now, I just want you to see what happens. All I'm going to do is open the dialer. Dink. Blinks on. This one kind of grows, animates out of its icon. Let's close it. Blinks off. This one kind of animates, closes down into an icon. I want to see it again. Bloop. Blinks on. Blinks off. Let's bring up uh, Messenger. Blinks on. Grows, animates out of its icon. Let's close it. Last one we'll do camera. Camera's sometimes the same, but you can definitely tell that it'll blink off and this one will animate, close down into its icon. Watch. All right, there's the difference. So if you're someone who you make a phone call, send a message, make a video, upload, you're back and forth between apps, it's going to be quicker, snappier, it's going to feel faster, it's going to be a degree more uh, fun to work with this phone. All right, uh, leave in the comments. If you end up making those changes and you like how your phone works, leave a comment. Now, if you want to stick around, let's see how to undo it in case you don't like how that phone runs. Okay, let's go back into settings, touch settings, go into developer options, scroll all the way down without touching anything unnecessarily. We're looking for drawing, which came after input. There's input and there's drawing. Okay, let's turn them back to 1x. Windows animation scale, 1x. Transition animation scale, 1x. Animator duration scale, 1x. All right, now we're all the way done, and if you want to be super safe, come up here to Developer Options and toggle off. Now if we back up, it doesn't even show up underneath the About phone. You have to go watch the video again if you want to learn how to turn it back on. All right, that is it. That's how you speed up your Samsung Galaxy A71 5G. If this has helped you, please like, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.